Um, hi, I'm Matt Aitken. I'm a contemporary artist. Um, things I do always involve heaps of collaborations. I always have lots and lots of projects going. I think I take inspiration from really mundane, everyday things, um, from whatever's around me. When we lived in Maylands by the river, I got really into canoeing. I started a project where I bought about 20 canoes off Gumtree secondhand and then created this little community of people that can all come and share these canoes at this like secret spot by the river. Um, and we had an exhibition out on the river that you had to, it was like hidden and you had to canoe out to it and find it. Um, so living by the river, the river was just this obvious collaborator to work with. And then I think as well turning 30 and having a kid recently, I started to reflect on who I was and where I came from. And uh, I was pretty obsessed with football um, growing up and then got really into the arts as a teenager and then I've recently reconnected the two and I've been doing an art project for about 18 months about the emotional lives of footy fans. Yeah, I think the patterns in my projects is, is one idea, one kind of romantic idea that's really exciting, that I get really excited about and then I try and pull people into it. Um, and then you try and build up that world and then you have some kind of outcome for it. Um, sometimes it's inside an art gallery, sometimes it's at a music festival. Yeah, I think I've, I really love artists that are a bit rebellious or adventurous and they just teach themselves. And I think by, by going and learning, I spent six months in Indonesia, in Jogja, Jogjakarta, which is a really amazing city in the middle of Java that's got just dozens of languages spoken in it. It's got all, it's, it's kind of in between. And so being over there and seeing their art traditions and then coming back to Perth was really eye-opening and interesting. Um, but yeah, my how I got to have more confidence and, and put myself out there and saying, this, I'm an artist, this is what I'm doing. Um, I think being part of the music community helped me a lot because there's a, just a whole tradition of just um, really scruffy technique of just people picking up a guitar and learning three chords or just hitting a drum. It's very, it feels like you can just get involved as long as you have spirit and attitude. And, and it's a nice way to meet people because when you leave school, um, it's a kind of pretty, making new friends, um, making friends from different ages and backgrounds, I think it's really interesting. Doing Swamp Club with May was really good. Um, that was a really nice way to kind of team up with a lot of our friends from the music world um, and get them along to come to these morning events and then bring in specialists uh, some sort of poets and botanists and some Noongar elders to come and speak and be part of these um, sensory, um, technically it's sensory theatre I guess. Swamp Club was really eye-opening how you can bring together bits of um, oral history, bits of um, smells and sensory things, um, musical things, food, you can add all these different elements and if it kind of all comes together under one project um, and one experience. I think people are often really good makers and they need nudging to be a bit crazier and think of big ideas and experiment. And I think there's other people that are really good at that chaotic big idea stuff and not as good at the making and I think I need to focus on making more. I think I kind of avoided art school because I thought they were going to make me have to learn technical things so I kind of yeah don't don't avoid I think slow process of like um, sculpting and weaving and some of these like really slow meditative practices I wish I could have convinced teenage me that that stuff is just really good for your mind. Um, even like footy, there's always people knitting footy scarves. There's something about like um, slow, slow activity um, that can balance the rest of your life. So that's probably what I would try and convince.